हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज स्विचिंग टेक्निक नेटवर्क इज अ सेट ऑफ कनेक्टेड मल्टीपल डिवाइसेस व्हेन एवर मल्टीपल डिवाइसेस आर देयर वी हैव द प्रॉब्लम हाउ टू कनेक्ट देम टू मेक वन टू वन कम्युनिकेशन पॉसिबल इफ द नेटवर्क इज लैन देन वी कैन हैव पॉइंट टू पॉइंट और सम ब्रॉडकास्ट लिंक बट फॉर वैन नो सच टॉपोलॉजीज आर पॉसिबल सो द वैन अ यूजर is accessible the internet or another computer network outside their immediate uh, location then messages are sent through the network of uh, transmission media this technique of transferring the information from one computer network to another network this is known as the switching uh, switching in a computer network is achieved by using uh, switches a switch is a small hardware device which is used to join multiple computers together with a one local area network that means uh, lan uh, network switches operate at layer 2 that means the data link layer in the osi model switches um, the transparent to the user and does not require any configuration in the home network uh, switches are used to forward the packets based on the mac address of uh, switch is used to transfer the data only the devices that has been address it verifies the destination address to uh, some uh, root of the packet appropriately it is operated in the full duplex mode packet collision is minimum as it directly uh, communicate between the source and destination it does not uh, broadcast the message as it work and with limited bandwidth Uh, the switches are the devices which is capable of the uh, creating some temporary connection between the two or more devices link uh, to the switch uh, then the key features of the some uh, switch communications network uh, network topology is not regular then uses some fdm or tdm for uh, node to node communications then uh, there exist multiple path between uh, source and destination pair for better network then uh, switching nodes are not connected with content of the data then this purpose is to provide switching facility that will move uh, data from node to node until they reach the destination then this figure shows the switch uh, network in switch network some of these nodes are connected to the end system that means computer uh, some telephones uh, other are used for the routings then switching is categorized into the uh, following three types uh, first is uh, circuit switching then message switching and third is packet switching then first type is uh, circuit switching circuit switching is a switching technique that establish a dedicated path between sender and receiver in the circuit switching technique once the connection is established then the dedicated path uh, dedicated path will be remains to exist uh, until the connection is terminated then circuit switching in a network operates in a similar way as a telephone works then a complete end to end path must exist before the communication takes place uh, in case of circuit switching technique uh, when any user want to send the data uh, then a video some voice uh, request signal is sent to the receiver then the receiver send send back some acknowledgement to ensure uh, the availability of the dedicated path after receiving the acknowledgement dedicated path transfer the data uh, then circuit switching is used in the public telephone network and it is used for the voice transmission uh, then it also uh, fixed data can be transferred at a time in the circuit switching uh, technology it involves the following three steps Uh, circuit establishment uh, to establish and the end to end uh, connection before the transfer of data then second is a data transfer transfer of data from source to destination and third is a circuit disconnect terminate the disconnect at the end of data transfer uh, here the uh, switching uh, some messages the does the actual physical electrical path or circuit between source and destinations Uh, destination host must be established before the message is uh, transmitted this connection once is established remains exclusive and continuous for complete uh, duration of the information exchange 
एंड सर्किट बिकम्स डिस्कनेक्टेड ओनली वेन द सोर्स ऑन टू डू सो देन दी सम एडवांटेजेस ऑफ सर्किट स्विचिंग एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ सर्किट स्विचिंग फर्स्ट इज एडवांटेजेस फिक्स बैंडविड एंड गैरंटेड कैपेसिटी दैट मीन्स देयर इज एट द एंड टू एंड लिंक एंड बैंडविड इज फिक्सड डज नॉट चेंज सेकेंड इज लो वेरियंस इज एंड टू एंड डिले देर इज अ लो वेरिएशन वेरियंस इन द एंड टू एंड डिले एंड देर इज अ कॉन्स्टंट डिले देन डिस डिसएडवांटेजेस द सर्किट इस्टैब्लिशमेंट एंड सर्किट डिस्कनेक्ट इंट्रोड्यूसेस एक्स्ट्रा ओवर एड एंड डिले देन कॉन्स्टंट डेटा रेट फ्रॉम सोर्स टू डेस्टिनेशन चैनल कैपेसिटी इज डेडिकेटेड फॉर ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द कनेक्शन इवन इफ नो डेटा इज ट्रांसफर्ड देन इनसफिशियंट और बस्टी ट्राफिक एंड वेन एवर द यूजर इज नॉट यूजिंग द बैंडविड्स दैट बैंडविड द अदर कैनॉट यूज इवन इफ इट इज फ्री ऑफ द ट्राफिक then second type is uh, message switching uh, another switching technique is message switching and in the switching method uh, different strategy is used where instead of inst- establishing a dedicated physical line uh, between the sender and receiver the physical uh, the message is sent to the nearest directly connected switching nodes uh, as shown in this figure here uh, S one, S two, S four, S three, six, four, five. The S one, one from six. Uh, the message passes uh, from A to B. Uh, that means this node is message and check uh, for errors. Select the best available route and forward the messages to the next intermediate node. Suppose here one of the route is choice. Uh, this A sending from message uh, this way. Uh, that means it is the uh, message check for errors and select the best available route and forward the message to the next intermediate nodes uh, the line becomes free again for the other messages then while the process is being continue in some other node due to the mode of action this method is also known as the store and forward technology where the message uh, uh, message hop from the uh, node to node so it is final destinations uh, each node store the full message and check error and forward it then advantages uh, and disadvantages for uh, message switching uh, advantages in a message switching no circuit setup is required in advance then second is line efficiency in the uh, greater that means sharing of link uh, then third is data rate conversion is possible then fourth is a message priorities can be used to satisfy the requirement if any then disadvantages every switch in uh, transit path needs enough storage to accommodate entire message uh, second because of store and forward technique and wait uh, include until resources are available message switching is very slow and uh, third is message switching was not a solution for streaming media and real time applications then third type is packet switching uh, the basic approach is not much different from uh, message switching it is based on the same store and forward approach however to overcome Uh, the limitations of message switching message are divided into the subset of equal length is called as the packets the packet switching approach was uh, developed for the long distance data communications in 1970 and it has evolved over a time in packet switching approach data are transmitted in short packets that means few kilobytes uh, a long message is broken up into the series of the packets every packets contains some control informations in its header and which is required for uh, routing and other purposes uh, then main difference between packet switching and circuit switching is that communications lines are not dedicated to passing the message from source to the destinations uh, in packet switching uh, different packets can pass through different routes uh, and when there is a dead time in the communications between the source and destination lines are used by the other sources then packet switching networks are also well suited for the handling in uh, inter- intrative traffic by making the sure uh, no user hold the transmission line for the long time uh, 
uh, in case uh, user traffic uh, free uh, the charges uh, fee the cha fee are charged and uh, example of the cellular communications packet switching is characterized by the fee per unit for information uh, transmitted and uh, then uh, here one uh, switching packets uh, like here these some uh, switching offices and packets are queue then subsequent transmissions is available then uh, advantages and disadvantages for packet switching uh, first is advantages uh, no circuit setup is required in advance then no bandwidth is reserved uh, used for performing data rate conversion and more fault tolerant and packet switching disadvantages uh, packet switching different packets can follow different path so they may um, arise out of the uh, order and if a node crashes a uh, momentarily the all the queue uh, packets are lost then uh, next is physical layer devices Uh, in this section, so we will discuss uh, connecting devices uh, that operate in physical layer. That means repeaters and hub. Uh, first is repeater. A repeater is a device that operates only in the physical layer. Uh, signal carry informations within a network uh, can travel a fixed distance before attenuation. Uh, here the uh, endangers the integrity of the data uh, a repeater receives a signal and um, the before it comes to weak or corrupted uh, or regenerated the original bit pattern uh, the repeater then send the refresh signal as shown in this figure suppose uh, this is the corrupted signal and uh, these signals uh, therefore it becomes weak or corrupted uh, signal and it is uh, regenerated uh, original bit patterns here the repeater and these are the uh, regenerated signals this is the function of repeaters then functions of the uh, repeaters first is uh, regeneration signal uh, repeater is a regenerator not an amplifier the kind of amplifications done by the repeater is different from the regular amplification done by the amplifiers the regular amplifies everything fed into it that means if the input signal has noise induce into it and both are desired signal and noise signal are together amplified but in the case of repeater it uh, regenerate the input signal and amplifies only the desirable signal hence the noise component of signal is eliminated so a repeater must be placed so that a signal reaches it before any noise changes the meaning of any any of its bit then second uh, function is connect segment of lan a repeater can connect uh, two uh, segment of the lan uh, as shown in this figure first segment and second segment uh, these two segments connect the same lan but it does not connect two lans and it can be used to create a single extended lan then third is forward every frames uh, when it receives as a frame from any of the port it regenerate and forward it to the other port it has no filtering capacities then uh, second type is hubs uh, hub is physical layer network device hub can be of two types passive hub and active hub first one is passive hub a uh, passive hub is just a connector it connects the wires uh, coming from the different branches in a star topology ethernet lan a uh, passive hub is just a point where the signals coming from different stations collide the hub is collision point this type of hub is a part of media its location in the internet model is below the physical layer and second is active hub in active hub is actually a multi port repeater and it can be used to create uh, multiple levels of hierarchy of stations then the stations connect uh, to the um, here rj45 connector uh, having the maximum segment length is 100 meters and this type of interconnected uh, st set of stations is very easy to maintain i see this is the hub and uh, it can be used to create the multiple levels of hierarchy stations 
these are the hierarchy stations and uh, it connected to the hub rj45 uh, connector uh, having the maximum segment length 100 meters and this type of interconnector is a set of stations is very easy to uh, maintain and diagnose